the future boardroom of internet organizations. So this is a thesis of what they're talking about. The most important doubt, and, and it's not there yet. We've all been kind of hypothesizing, right, about all this Web3 and what it's going to look like. So the most important DAOs will govern many billions of dollars in control. As just one example, the upgrade path for the future financial infrastructure of the world. Look at look at Ethereum. I know that's not a DAO. They kind of started out something like the DAO. But a lot of these blockchains are similar to that kind of thing. So the tokens by which grant access to the DAO voting will play an increasingly important position for investors to take best interest changes into their own hands, while also earning revenue from the success playing out throughout the protocol fees. These assets are a superset of what equity in traditional public company finance uh, company is, and thus will flourish in the DeFi world and, and in which they were natively built. Lending and borrowing of government tokens and making voting power fluid and reacting uh, reactive to the value of the vote, incentivizing great protocols and to make great decisions. Welcome yeah. to the internet boardroom. And nice. yes, it, you'll see, because I want to go into, uh, you know how all the different things that we've been uh, you know, doing, Tim, we yeah. started out with DeFi, man. Uh, all of this, everything folds back into itself. And yeah, I mean, this is, this is talking about that there's, I mean, every one of these, uh, DAOs don't know who is going to be just like some of these cryptocurrencies. You don't know who's going to come out the leader, but you're talking about the, you know, big companies where, uh, you know, the power is going to be dispersed between all of these people who either hold NFTs, who hold well, governance tokens, who I, hold crypt. Go ahead. I think you just, I think you just said before earlier on $1,400 a couple of years ago would be a million now. So you don't have to bet. You can bet on all of them. Um, right. you know, and if you held, you'd have a million bucks for 1400. Uh, yep. back in the day. So, you know, it doesn't take a lot, but you it, it takes a lot of uh, intestinal fortitude to stick with the program and to uh, ride it out and wait it out. Not uh, not always be, you know, when, when, when. Right. But yeah, sorry, go on. No, 100%, because that's that's what we're talking about, man. I mean, it's, yeah. I, 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 again, I know uh, not everybody's been with us for the past two years. A lot of people are brand new. Yeah. I've been here for about two and a half, two and a half years, man. So, it, it, it is, it's work, but it's also been uh, very rewarding. I've learned a lot, man, you know? Now, we, we talked to people in Miami that said, you know, from what we were just chit-chatting about, they just said, oh, we're, we're in. We're going to get some bees right now. That's I right. watched that happen in Phoenix as well. It's sitting in the, in the lobby before uh, before the Phoenix event, some some guys sitting there buying four or five bees right there in the lobby. So, you know, and, and, and I'm sure they're still holding. And I'm sure they're going to, you know, plan to hold for a long time. Yep. Yep. But uh, this, using DeFi, uh, this, this is, and obviously this is a guy's opinion. It's not only the only reason, but it's not, it, he's saying that DAOs exist to fully take advantage of decentralized finance. And we know that's DeFi. DeFi refers to any number of new financial applications and transactions powered by the blockchain. Most importantly, they can do it without having to go through centralized institutions like banks, right? DeFi enables crypto holders to engage in virtually any kind of digital transaction. So that's, we know that, right? But right. the reason I brought it up is again, an individual person can use DeFi, but DAOs can organize individual crypto traders into a much bigger user base. There is a reason we have had built all of these different things in our ecosystem. The relationship between DAOs and DeFi is symbiotic. Without DAOs, DeFi would lose a huge number of users. And without DeFi, DAOs would have a much harder time coordinating their members' finances and funneling them into group missions. Group missions, right? Well, what do we talk about? Uh, I'm going to say, remember that Grupal thing that we talk about? Remember that uh, Starwire thing that we talk about, the Wafu? These group missions. It's it, it, you really got it's pretty cool what has been going on. And, uh, you know, again, it's it's kind of hard to wrap your head and, and understand it all. But there's a there's a method to what's going on. And all of these things work into each other. Uh, I won't won't spend too much time here, but we went through the cool things of it's decentralized, automated and transparent. 